Which one does it work? <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Friggin' Belsif. I am your host, dirty, rotten, stinky old damn Belsif. Today we got your we got a few things to talk about today. First thing we're going to talk about is IMAX. So I got my new iMac here. It looks like the same as the other one, I know, but I didn't go with the new one. I went with the older style. I didn't go with the newer style. I don't want an M1 or an M1X or whatever. I want the normal computer and whatnot. So as you know, we got this computer in and they're not cheap. As you know, it's Apple. What I can tell you right now is, I don't know if you can see the screen or not. Not available. Why is view not available? Whatever. Anyways. What I can tell you is that this computer will pull up the information on in case you want to know because this is kind of getting a geeky little video with dirty old Bill through this. So this computer come with a 3.8 gigahertz 8 core i7 processor. It came with 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM. It come with a 16 gig 5700 TXT Pro card and uh, yeah. I upgraded the RAM already to 36, uh, 32 gigs of RAM because it's cheaper than upgrading it through I'm, or Apple. So I did it myself. So there you go. 32 gigs is good enough for now. It's good up to 128, but that's what we're going to do. So right after I got the computer going on to my story here, right after I got the computer and stuff, I thought this is awesome. You know, it actually edits 4K, no problem, and everything works great. Well, guess what? My phone quit charging through the port. So now my iPhone 11 Pro Max needs to be fixed. So I can charge it wirelessly, thank God, but I can't charge it through the port, which means I can't fly the drones with my phone. I have to use my iPod every time, and I'm not into that. So when it rains, it pours is what I'm trying to get at here. So now to get the phone fixed, I'm about $500 for Apple for something to get the new plug put on. The phone's two years old. If I trade it in, through Rogers, because the phone's financed, of course, through Rogers, because I replace them every couple years or whatever. 200 and some dollars to give it back to them and get another phone. So that's what I'm going to do. That's what I did do. I went online. I ordered the phone, this, that, the other thing. They said, no problem. Three to five to five business days or something will send you a thing, do dad and whatnot. So I get an email saying, oh, it's back ordered. So you're going to be about five weeks. In the meantime, I got this in the mail to return my old phone back to Rogers. Well, on this sheet, it says, ship back your phone within one week. So I called Rogers today and I said, hey, Rogers, listen, listen, I'm not going to send back my old phone until I get my new phone. So I don't know what you expect me to do to be without a phone for two weeks. I don't think so. That can't happen because I don't have a home phone and I need my phone every damn day. So I can't do that. Well, he says, sir, we can't send you a new phone until we get your old phone back. And I said, well, to be honest with you, you're not getting my old phone back until I get my new phone. Well, you can't do that. I said, well, okay, that's fine. Then let's just not even freaking think about it right now and just do what you got to do. So I got off the phone with them because I was pissed off and this, that, and the other thing. So I called Rogers' store and I said, do you have an iPhone 13 Pro Max there? And they got, we got one blue one left. I said, good, I'll be right down to get that damn phone from you because online they're back ordered. So I get to the store, they're like, well, you got to cancel the order first that you made online because we can't put it through until the order is canceled. I said, well, why don't you call and cancel it? Well, that, unfortunately, we can't. You have to. I'm like, all right, fine. An hour later into the call, they said, we got to talk to the store to cancel, to finish the cancellation of your order. So I was standing at the store for an hour, and now this gentleman's helping other people. This is on my work time. So I said, well, he's tied up now with other people. I said, and I can't wait any longer. I said, you just need to cancel this friggin' order. Well, no, you can't do it like that. So I said, you know what? Forget about it. And I hung up. I don't know if there's a new phone coming in the mail or what's going on right now, to be honest with you, with this phone. So I'm just going to friggin' wing it and just see what happens. But they're not, definitely not getting my other phone back until I get another phone because I can't deal with a phone. <sighs> but I am getting a phone because I did pre-order... A case and some protectors for the new phone because that's the first thing I want to do on this one is protect it. So that's that story. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of that crap. Captain, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification too. That'd be great. Why wouldn't you? The main reason why I have you on here is because my old computer, when I was editing, it crashed all the time. Every time I edit, it crashed. So it made my editing get very frustrating. I do this for fun. I do this for a hobby. So I enjoy it. So if I have a computer that just keeps crashing every time I'm doing an edit or trying to render an edit, 
I get very irritated and that's not going to make me want to keep doing it. So I said, it's time for a new computer. It's been quite a few years since I bought myself a computer. So I said, well, besides the used one that was garbage. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy a new one and be done with it. I'll take my van money that I sold my van for and my engine money, which paid for the other golf cart. And now my van paid for this computer. So now I'm broke again. Freak. What happened? So that's why the golf cart outside is going to have to go nice and slow. I'm going to have to sell the blue one. But I think it's just going to go nice and slow. Because I don't want to sell the blue one. But anyway, where the hell were we talking about now? I can't remember. Oh! So I gave the old iMac to my daughter. Well, my daughter was using my wife's MacBook Pro. So while she was using that MacBook Pro, she happened to blow the speakers up in it. Which are a $40 fix, right? The, spe the They're only 40 bucks for 2013 edition. Look at that thing, eh? Friggin' right. So I ordered two of them speakers, which I'm gonna put in right now for you for a video if I ever get to that part of this video because I'm just gabbing on like a mother So I figured this laptop's got 128 SSD drive, which is a hard drive on it. It's only got 128 gigs of room on the computer. So I said to myself, I was gonna sell this computer, but who's gonna buy it if it's only got 128 gigs of memory? Like, it's drive space, right? Because nowadays you do one edit and it's full. So it's not really any good for nothing. So I went online and you can buy 512 gig SSD card for it for 139 US, something like that, 129 US. But you can buy a terabyte for 199 US. So guess what I did? I bought the one terabyte hard drive for it. So I'm gonna put that in, put the speakers in. I haven't got the hard drive yet, so we can't put that in, but we're gonna put the speakers in, make sure they work. And then we're gonna do it again later and put the drive in. But now I need to get about 800 bucks for the computer because it's another $300 for a hard drive. So I figured if I get $800 for it, I'm doing good. So if you're, you know anybody that's in line for a 13 inch Retina uh, 2013 late model MacBook Pro, hit me up. There's the specs on it right there, just so you know. Eh? This thing here is pretty mint. Like it's, I hardly used it. It's hardly been used, I should say. Look, here it is here. It's a full aluminum chassis. It's got the plugs and everything. You open her up and look at the screen on her, Jim. She's just like brand new she is. Eh? Not a mark on her. But we're gonna put the speakers back in it and see what's what. So have an eye down here and you can have a gander and see what you think of this. This is a pretty easy little job actually. I already have the cover off. I already have the old speakers out just so you know. Because before I ordered them, I wanted to make sure I'm ordering the right speakers, if you know what I'm saying. Here it is here. Here we go. So this computer, this here is the SSD, which is a hard drive. They don't have a drive. They have a what they call a flash drive, which makes them faster. So there's a flash drive. This one here, you can't update the RAM in it because the RAM is actually soldered to the board. So this one's the one where you can't upgrade the RAM. There's the airport. This is uh, what Bluetooth doodad. This is a battery here. It's got all different size batteries, which actually reminds me you got to disconnect that battery before we put the doodads back in. So you should be able to just lift up this tab and disconnect the battery right there, Jim. You need a little doodad. Here's one. Careful. Oh, easy. Hold on a second here. We'll get her. It's all in how you hold your tongue and how you pull. So to disconnect the battery, that's all you do is just lift her up like that, Jim. So there we go, that's disconnected. So now we can put the speakers back in. So this speaker goes in here, I think. This speaker goes in here like so. One, like so, like so. Uh-oh, maybe we got the wrong speakers, Jim. No, it's gotta go underneath, I think. Yeah, there we go, okay. This speaker goes in here like so, see? Just like that. And then this course plugs in over here like so holy can you see because i can't i don't know why speakers have so many damn connections it's only a speaker but it does it is what it is that's a hard little bitch to get back in that one here well easy i was trying too hard there we go so that one's connected and now we'll spin this around and we'll put this one in now this one here goes all the way up and around and a down and around over here it does so we got to disconnect this which is two screws and when i say this I mean, part of the motherboard. There's the old speakers, just so you know. Hey, there they are. Look at that. Would you look at it? Oh, and screws everywhere, Jim. Don't remember where the hell these screws go? Probably not. Oh, there's still screws stuck to the speakers. These things have a hell of a magnet, they do. No screws. Okay, set them over there. So what we need to do is we need to pull this off. Not with that one. Probably with this one. Like so. One, two. We'll lift that off. So we'll plug this in like this, and then this runs down there and down around here, and then we'll plug this back in like so. And then we'll put this back on like so. 
Are you following me here? Because I'm not. So we'll put these two screws in like so. Meow. Kitty kitty. Meow. Look at how small these screws are. Like, how do you even frig? Oh, dick. I can't see nothing, Jim. I'm going by feel right now. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Well, come on. We'll slide this back in. Did I get it? Maybe. I might have to put my binoculars on, Captain. Yeah, I can't see what the hell is going on. What is going on? Hey, would you look at that? Frig. So there's that. So that's on. So now we're going to put the speaker speakers screws back in, which are the two short ones go, I think... Right here. So there's one. I'm gonna put the other short one over here where it belongs. There's two. Careful. Four. Now, just so you know, boys, girls, peoples, I'm not gonna put all the screws back in the base because I gotta take the base off again in like a couple days to put the new thingamabob or whatnot are in there. So we'll just get uh, these speakers on. We'll put the cover back on and we'll uh, try out and see if the speakers work. So now these screws here, there is some short ones and some long ones, I think. So that's a short one. It's really hard to tell which ones are short. That's a short one. So there's one, two short ones that go at the back and then the rest go everywhere else because of the hinge. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget the battery power cable cap. So there we go. So now we should be able to throw this back on. We'll put a couple screws just to hold this. <coughs> Pardon me. Just a couple, not too many. Can you believe how small them freaking speakers are? That's freaking awesome. Freaking right, that's awesome. Leave your comments down below if you can't do anything without binoculars on. So there's one screw. Like I said, we're only going to put a couple in. Two. The only problem, if I don't put them all back in, we might get a rattle from the speakers. But that's okay. So there's another one. And then we'll just put one in the back, one of the shorties. Actually, let's put two of the shorties in. That way we remember where they go. All right, there we go. And that should be all there is to putting speakers in the old laptop. So let's try it out, see if they work. Are you listening? Would you listen to that, Captain? We'll get it on here. We'll put on some royalty-free music. Put on some YouTube music. Why wouldn't you? Hey, why wouldn't you? Look how fast that starts up though, eh? SSD for you. Friggin' right it is. Oh look, it's even pulling up a website that I don't need. It's even pulling up YouTube. Well, would you look at that? Well, I'm not signed in. Hold on a minute, let me sign in, Cap. Password, oh yeah, right. You know, that's gonna be wrong. Oh, cock. I don't know what my password is, Cap. Something's happening. I might've got it. Or it's gonna say, you've tried logging too many times. You cocked yourself over, Cap. Welcome to voice, welcome to voiceover. Easy. Voiceover speaks to- I don't wanna talk to you right now. Uh oh, something went wrong. Why wouldn't it go wrong? Oh, that's only gonna take 10 years. Yay! I think I got her, Captain. Do not passwords drive you friggin' crazy. They friggin' sure drive me crazy. Let me tell you what. Oh my God. Why? Why is this even happening right now? All right, I'm gonna do it a different way because this ain't working. Let's just hit something that's non-copyright. So previously when we were using spreadsheets, we were heavily meeting dependent. It took us hours to those speakers are working. and our projects. It was crazy. <laughs> Oh. One doesn't work. <laughs> Un friggin' believable. Well, that's it for this video. I guess I'm gonna hit the return button on them. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this deal? Inquiry minds want to friggin' know. Love you all. Glad you're here. Welcome any new subscribers. Until the next one, you know what to do for now. Okay, I'm back real quick just to let you know I did figure out the speakers. I just didn't quite have the plug all the way in on the speaker right here. So that's the reason why we weren't getting full sound on them. But now they're both working. They still sound like shit though. But hey, you know what? They're nothing. Friggin' right. I'm not going to put it all back together. Like I said, it's still cranked on right now. And it backs off and everything else. So why wouldn't I do that? I just wanted to come back on here real quick and tell you I got it working, Jim.